Hello my dear 8th grade students. This is Baiju 6, 7th and 8th channel and I am Saurabh. Welcome to the series we call it Rapid Revision, The Last Lab. In this series we cover a complete chapter in 30 minutes. And today, it's the chance of the chapter we call it Sound. Sound is a big and very easy chapter. I would say this is a good introduction for you people because this chapter is going to come again in grade 9th and then uske will be a good editions of There will be a good amount of editions, there will be numericals. This time in grade 8th, this chapter is more experiential. Sound is produced, what is the activity? Kya karoge? And a lot of activities are there. Believe me, if you see NCRT, you will understand there is a lot of activity in this chapter. And nice, interesting activities, right? So, what do we get in this session? First, complete chapters revision. Especially from exam point of view, right? Complete chapter revision under 30 minutes, that's a guarantee. Second, you will get notes. Yes, you will get notes of this chapter and exam oriented important questions. Both downloadable, the link is in the description. So it's all yours, it's for you, it's downloadable. Then we have also given you a smart playlist. The smart playlist is a very good idea of the team, which I'll tell you more about in the end. Okay? So, Shall we start? Don't forget to press the like button by the way. Let's begin. Let's see what is this chapter we call a sound. See, broadly we can say this chapter is divided into these four parts. First is production and propagation of sound. See, something is going to produce the sound. Then sound is going to travel and that's something what we call as propagation. Propagation matlab chalna. Kahan se pass hona. So propagation means pass. Hona. So the medium from which the sound will travel, it's called propagation of sound. So the first thing is production. Kaise hoga? Second thing is propagation. Kaise hoga? Third, how will you hear? How will you hear? How will That's the second topic. right? So first is production propagation. Second is hearing, which is the human ear. Then we have characteristics of sound wave. This is a nice, the only numerical possible in this chapter is from this particular topic. If you can come from this numerical, you can come from this numerical, you can come from this numerical. Then we have noise pollution. This is the last topic, comparatively easy topic, but very important. From noise pollution, lot of questions are asked because it is more about safety. It's more about what you see around you. Okay, let's start. Let's start from the first thing. Production and propagation of sound. How is sound produced? In one word, you can give me the answer right now. The answer is vibrations. If an object vibrates, then it can produce sound. So, vibrations produce sound, right? If you hit something, it vibrates. And that is something which is producing the sound. But what is vibrating in me? Because I can speak, you can hear me speak. How am I producing sound? Because there is something vibrating over here. That is, these are the vocal cords, right? But they are encased in larynx or the voice box. So this is voice box. Inside it, there is something called as vocal cord. There are two stretched membranes of skin. And these are like flaps. When air passes through them, they move. And that's how this vibration occurs. So in humans, how is sound produced? Vocal cords sitting inside voice box. Diagrams have been asked. So practiced. Fine. Simple diagram. It's very easy. Okay, so vibrations produce sound. Next, sound is produced somewhere, but you are standing somewhere else. I'm speaking right now over here. You are there, but still you can hear me, right? In between, how is the sound traveling? That's what we call as propagation of sound. And the most important thing about propagation of sound is sound needs a medium. See, this diagram, is not in your syllabus. This diagram is not in your syllabus, it is not in NCRT, but this is just to show you that sound needs a medium. Without the particles of the medium, sound cannot travel, which means what can be a medium? Solid, yes, sound can travel. Liquid, sound can travel. Gas, sound is traveling between us. What is it? It's just air. So sound requires a medium. In your NCRT, there are good amount of activities on this. Like if you take a glass, a, a glass actually, right? And if you put a phone inside the glass and then you suck air from the glass, like literally suck air from the glass. And then you ask your friend to, you know, call on the phone. The sound will be a little fainter. So this is a small activity which shows how medium is necessary. Uh, there is an activity given to you regarding 
liquids mein if you ring a bell inside the uh, uh, water and then you put your ear inside the water you can still hear the bell so sound travels through solids sound travels through liquids for solids you might have done this activity if you put your ear on the table and ask someone to do tak 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 ah i can hear it right so all of these are the small small activities to prove that sound can travel through mediums which are solid liquid and gas that's for sure means without medium that is in vacuum in space can you hear something you cannot you cannot hear any anything on the moon so on moon people don't just call everybody hey hello they can't do this they talk through radio transmitters right sound requires a medium for propagation can travel through solid liquids and gases and by the way the speed of sound is fastest in solids and minimum in gas it's not there you will learn in grade 9 but i'm just telling you solids may it is very fast because solid molecules are very close to each other all right sound needs a medium it's a mechanical wave i said students this is for you okay now comes how do we hear it i mean sound production is done how is sound produced we understand how is sound traveling through the medium is something we understand it sound is nothing it's just a disturbance when a body vibrates it disturbs the particle next to it and this disturbance kind of keep keeps on traveling so that's how sound travels but how do you hear it through ears that's true correct what is the functioning now the diagram is in your book means the diagram is important so people always ask should we practice diagrams you should not a very difficult diagram this is more like a fancy 3d diagram you can still make a very very easy diagram see there are just three parts in ear outer right the outer ear then you have the middle ear and then you have the inner ear see outer ear is something which you can see this what is it it's is the pinna pinna its job is to catch the sound it is shaped in such a manner that sound comes it catches and sends inside the ear so pinna is for catching the sound okay then you have the ear canal fine in the end of the canal you have a drum not the drum you are thinking it's like a a diaphragm it's like a membrane right a very thin membrane when sound falls on this membrane this drum vibrates senses the sound so this drum vibrates and this drum is connected to the three set of bones so till your uh, drum this is outer ear then comes drum and the three set of bones right three set of bones this is the middle ear the job of middle ear is so by the time this drum senses the sound hai na jab tak ye drum sound ko sense karta hai tab tak sound bada faint ho jata hai the sound is very 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 feeble so these three set of bones by the way the smallest set of bones in your body in your body so these three set of bones they kind of amplify the sound ye log sound ko tez karte hain hai na amplification karte hain so middle ear ka job kya hai sensing and amplification correct hai na sensing and amplification finally there is the inner ear abhi bhi your brain understands what your brain understands all electrical signals who will convert in a ear so middle ear has done the job of amplification and sensing now the job is to convert this sound signals into electrical signals so that your brain can understand that is the job of inner ear in the inner ear there is this spiral structure filled with fluid this structure is called as cochlea right this structure has small small hairs inside it and when the vibrations come these hairs move and finally they convert into electrical signals there is no need to go such deep the structure is called cochlea and this structure converts sound signals to electrical signals and send it to the brain that's it good enough fine so three parts outer ear middle ear inner ear outer ear catching middle ear sensing and amplification inner ear conversion to electrical signals done fine okay now comes characteristics of sound wave see sound is a wave what is a wave wave is a disturbance traveling through a medium right so wave is very simple sound is a form of wave okay what are the characteristics of sound wave see wave right we all this is a very typical example of a wave so that's how we always represent sound wave also although the medium particles go like this but sound wave to study when we represent we represent it like this in my one shots i have explained this very very uh, in in great details right so important thing is two important things dekho first of all the center line in the sound wave the center line in the sound wave is called as the mean position right the mean position the maximum upper point in usual language we call it the trough but 
द मूवमेंट ऑफ अ पार्टिकल फ्रॉम द मेन पोजिशन टू द मैक्सिमम पॉइंट इज कोल्ड एज द एम्पलीट्यूड करेक्ट है ना द हाइएस्ट डिस्प्लेसमेंट और द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द टॉप मोस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द वे फ्रॉम द मेन पोजिशन इज कॉल्ड एज द एम्पलीट्यूड ठीक है फाइन दिस इज द एम्पलीट्यूड ओके ना वॉट इज फ्रीक्वेंसी यू सी दिस इज अ वेव ट्रेवलिंग राइट बट वॉट डू यू से इज वन वेव वन वेव कुड बी फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर दिस इज वन वेव अगैन वन वेव इज दिस आइदर यू कैन से टू क्रेस्ट is one wave two trough is one wave or this can be one wave right so all of these are one wave how many waves are passing through a point in one second if you have let's say a line like this or a point point could be this this could be line right if you have a plane in such a manner so how many waves are passing through this line in one second that my friend is called as the frequency correct so frequency kya hai frequency is number of waves in one second but how much time one wave takes becomes time period so frequency is one upon time period see time period is what time of one wave is equal to time period very good time of one wave in seconds is time period now in one second how many waves it's unitary method actually in one second number of waves is equal to one upon time period so this is frequency f is equal to 1 upon t done f is equal to 1 upon t the unit of frequency is hertz frequency ki unit hoti hai hertz theek hai fine time period kya hai ek wave ko kitna time laga ya fir ek oscillation ko hone mein kitna time laga oscillations kya hai pendulum if you remember yaad hai pendulum pendulum mein isko bolte the ek oscillation to so, oscillation ek general term hai correct so, कितने ऑसिलेशन हुए एक सेकंड में दैट बिकम्स द फ्रीक्वेंसी एक ऑसिलेशन को होने में कितना टाइम लगा दैट बिकम्स द टाइम पीरियड इजी क्लियर ओके नाउ दिस यू कैन इंटरचेंज फ्रीक्वेंसी बिकम्स वन अपॉन टाइम पीरियड एंड टाइम पीरियड बिकम्स वन अपॉन फ्रीक्वेंसी टाइम पीरियड की टाइम पीरियड का नाम में क्या आ रहा है टाइम ना सो टाइम पीरियड का यूनिट है सेकेंड सो टाइम पीरियड ऐसा यूनिट इज सेकेंड फ्रीक्वेंसी ऐसा यूनिट इज हर्ड ओके यस नाइस अब स्पीड क्या होगा भाई स्पीड बिकम्स डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम डिस्टेंस अपॉन टाइम कितना डिस्टेंस कवर किया कितने टाइम में वही हो जाता है स्पीड ऑफ साउंड करेक्ट साउंड ने कितना डिस्टेंस कवर किया कितने टाइम में दैट इज या स्पीड यूनिट क्या होगा मीटर पर सेकंड वेरी वेरी इजी क्लियर राइट देखो डायग्राम से डरना नहीं है दिस डायग्राम एज सच इज नॉट देयर क्वेश्चन पता है कैसा आएगा सुनो बहुत सबके साथ बहुत ध्यान सुनो एवरीबॉडी लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन व्हिच आर वेरी वेरी जेनेरिक वेरी वेरी कॉमन इन ग्रेट इट इज नंबर ऑफ ऑसिलेशंस आर 100 फाइंड द टाइम पीरियड number of oscillations happening in one second is uh, 100 find the time period and frequency bhai if in one second you are having 100 oscillations means frequency becomes how much 100 hertz what is time period 1 upon 100 so these kind of questions are very common in grade 8 otherwise it's very simple fine hai na theek hai chalo aage chale now we learned about loudness we learned about uh, sorry we learned about frequency and we learned about amplitude but there are characteristics of sound which are dependent on these things like loudness the word tells you loud how loud a sound is kitna tez hai awaaz that is called as the loudness and loudness depends on amplitude if more is the amplitude of the sound you can say louder the sound is and unit of loudness is decibels हाई डी बी का साउंड मत सुनो बहुत बहुत डेंजरस होता है इट इज डैमेजिंग टू यर राइट सो यूनिट इज डेसिबल्स मोर द एम्पलीट्यूड मोर इज द लाउडनेस इन अ वे इट इज एम्पलीट्यूड स्क्वेयर बट यू कैन से एम्पलीट्यूड इज डिटली प्रोपोर्शनल टू लाउडनेस अगर ज्यादा एम्पलीट्यूड होगा ज्यादा लाउडनेस होगा क्लियर ठीक है हाउ द क्वेश्चन विल कम दे विल गिव यू टू वे फॉर्म दे विल आस्क यू विच ऑफ देम इज मोर लाउडर ध्यान से देखो जिसका एम्पलीट्यूड ज्यादा ज्यादा लाउड होगा सिंपल सी बात है राइट नेक्स्ट कम्स द पिच वट इज पिच पिच इज depending on frequency see frequency just by looking at a wave can you tell which has higher frequency if the waves are close to each other you call it having high frequency niche wale mein wave thoda pass pass hai na yani ki ek second mein zyada wave pass kar payega in one second more the number of waves can pass through that point so bottom one has high frequency compared to the upper one because upper one mein the waves are little far apart from each other so high frequency means high is the pitch or high is the shrillness a pitch hai kya pitch is the amount of shrillness of a sound shrillness matlab patla pan tezi bariki hai na hello is the shrill sound hello is the deep sound so deep sound has 
low pitch. It has low frequency. High pitch means high shrillness, means high pitch, right? All of this is about pitch. Fine. Okay. Now there is an audible range. There is an audible range. Audible range for humans is humans. We are not superhumans, right? We are humans. We have a limit of hearing. So we can hear only a certain range of frequencies like 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz. This is the range of frequency which we, uh, which we can hear. Below 20 hertz, not audible to us. We call it infrasound, right? Infrasound. Who can hear? Elephants can, pigeons can, right? More than 20,000 hertz or more than 20 kilohertz is called as ultrasound. Who can hear it? Dogs can, uh, dolphins can, bats can. So, but we cannot. We have special dog whistles, no? So, humans, the range is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Very direct questions are asked from this. Tick. Now comes the noise pollution. Detailed subjective answers have been asked from noise pollution, like how to reduce noise pollution, what is noise pollution, but what is noise? Unwanted sound is called as noise. Unwanted, unpleasant sound is called as noise. It's subjective, that's true. Something can be music to me, something can be noise for you. If I start playing rock music, da, 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 you will say, hey, I don't like, I like soft music. So it's noise for me. So subjectivity is always there, but there are sounds which nobody likes. Who likes honking of vehicles? Nobody likes, right? So these are very different things we call as noise, right? So noise pollution is unwanted sounds are called as noise. Pollution, if you have so much of unwanted sounds everywhere, so this is noise pollution, right? Overdoing of something is called as pollution, no? Speaker on high volumes, for example of noise pollution, car honking, noise pollution, shouting in the class, noise pollution, so all of these noise pollution only, right? Hey, but what what can be harmful here? I mean, if, if I'm shouting in the class, oh, howling here and there, here and there, what is the problem? I mean, what is the worst that can happen? Hazards of noise pollution. See, headache. Sardar jata na, jab bahut shor shraba sun lo, sardar. Toh headache is one. And this is not a normal headache. These are like permanent headaches, which, which kind of uh, sets in, right? Next, hearing impairment. The, the uh, you know, the levels to which you can hear that gets damaged. So in a way, hearing impairment happens. Sunai kam dene lag jata hai. Ye hota hai noise pollution se. Methods reduce noise pollution bhai dekho. There are things which can absorb the sound, right? So planting trees. Sadaq ke kinaare mein aapne dekho ga peed lagate loog. Uska keval keval ek ye nahi hai ke achcha lagta hai. Two things. It kind of purifies the air also. And second, it reduces noise pollution. Peed Patiyan, noise pollution ko na thoda break kar dete hain. They reduce noise pollution. Second, lubricating machinery. Bhai, awaaz kahan se aati hai? Ghar mein, if you, if you have a ceiling fan and it is creating a noise called as Right, all of this is coming. What do you do? You call the electrician or if you are talented or normally my father does this because he is more talented than me in these things. But what happens? You put oil in this. And when you put oil in machinery parts, the friction gets less and the sound reduces. So you can put lubrication, right? So lubrication in the machinery reduces the amount of sound. In factories, it's a very big thing. Fine. All right. So how to reduce noise pollution? Direct questions are asked from here. Give two ways of reducing noise pollution. Give two hazards of noise pollution. What is a noise? So all of these are very direct questions. You can answer them right now. Okay. Now a quick homework question for you. By lightning and thunder, it take place in the sky at the same time and at the same distance from us. Same time and same distance from us. Lightning is seen earlier and thunder is heard later. Can you explain why? It's a nice question and you are very much capable of answering this question. Comment section is all yours. So with this, we are done with the chapter called as sound. I told you it's a nice, sweet introduction. Grade 9th, we'll talk about it again. So people like is your job right now share and subscribe and what have i told you i have told you i have given you a smart playlist smart playlist smart people use it how you select your grade you will see all the chapters which videos are already there one shots are there and a quiz is given to you right a test is also there so all of this is for you it's all free notes of this chapter another link is there pdf downloadable notes are there and then we also have the important exam questions, the worksheets for you. You teen cheese aapko mil jayenge description mein, hai na? How do you like all this? Tell us in the comment section. And the homework 
and everything whatever you want to tell us so people like share and subscribe see you next time till then bye bye